the sciatic nerve is running basically midline or posterior thigh, right along the bladder channel. So we're needling the hamstring muscles. We're going to be generally needle, needling respectively either medial or lateral to that. So um, basically we have the semitendinous, semitendinosus, semimembranosus more on the medial side right here. We have the biceps femoris laterally. But when I'm needling that, I'll press perpendicular to the muscle fibers. I'm using a flat palpation. He's got a little tight area right there. You feel that? Yes. Okay. And then when I tap in, I'm just going to be angling a bit medial to that. We're just angling away from that midline to make Ooh. sure we stay away. So what did you feel there? Just big chi. Okay. Big chi. <laughs> big chi. Big chi. Fine twitch. Big chi. Fine twitch. Fine. But just going slow and especially, I mean, I'm needling medial, but since I am not too far away from that midline, just making sure that's not a nervy electrical sensation. Why but, are you because we're trying to stay away from midline the to sciatic. avoid the static nerve. So if I'm needling semitendinosus, semimembranosus, I'm needling medial away. And if I'm needling biceps femoris, I'm needling laterally away. Very similar thing is going to hold true when we're needling the gastroc and soleus tomorrow. Um, with the neurovascular bundle in the lower leg is going to be more midline. So when we're needling, we're either needling respectively medial or laterally away. So the, um, the vascular, the artery, and femoral artery, and, and vein are too deep for you to, if you're going medially like that, you're not worried about that? If I'm in this middle portion, I'm not as concerned about that from here. If you get into this lower part, kind of like I showed with the adductor magnus, you've got that. that hole, so to speak, mm -hmm. and the vascular yeah. is coming out there and then right. running posteriorly. Yeah. So if I were needling around this portion, I would be a little bit more cautious mm -hmm. about that. Not that we're not cautious, but up here I'm not as concerned about that. It's, it's coming more. It's much more medial, yeah, yeah, in that position. That's so, more adductor issue. So okay. biceps and morris. And just keep in mind, too, I'm not going to have him contract his, his muscle while there's a needle in, but if you start getting this far lateral, you're, you're starting to get into the vastus lateralis. So even though somebody's having pain in theory kind of around the posterior aspect of this leg, the vastus lateralis is wrapping around here. So if I'm, if I'm getting biceps femoris, it's going to be a little bit more here. Before I've stuck needles in his thigh, you could distinguish that by having him flex and extend. leg curl and flex and extend, mm -hmm. and I can feel the muscle pop underneath if it is, in fact, his biceps femoris. Again, I'm just doing the opposite here. So I've needle biceps femoris, and I'm angling out. Tendinitis, tendinopathy, or not a strain up in that more proximal area. Just be, be very careful, pardon me, pressing here. You can palpate the ischial tuberosity. Just be careful about your placement. Again, the sciatic nerve is coming right out there. So just making and sure. And how superficial is it, do you, I mean, generally speaking, the sciatic nerve, when it comes, like, near bladder 36? Depends a lot on the size of the person, honestly. Right. <laughs> I mean, from, the, from the femur, you know, generally speaking. Well, it's right next it's to the right femur. Next to the femur that yeah, so it's like right next to the But the femur's not as deep there on somebody and as you might else. expect. <laughs> yeah. So it is right up against it. It's all connected.